we're going to introduce you to the actual idea of pH. <clears throat> First of all, pH and pOH both express the concentration of ions in a short form. For example, it's defined as the pH is equal to the negative log of the H plus ion concentration. I usually write it as H3O plus. pOH is equal to the negative log of the OH minus ion concentration, and those guys are in moles per liter. So now I know right off the bat you guys are looking at that going, oh no, I need to know what how to do logarithms. No, you don't. You see this button right there? It says log. That's all you need to worry about where it is, how to use it, what it means. I'll show you a little bit, but it's really not as hard as it looks. Let's look at a logical model. If water dissociates one times ten to the minus seven molecules, and we saw that from the last video, that's equal to the concentration of the hydrogen ion, or it's equal to the concentration of the hydroxide ion as well. It can be written as this way, one over 10 to the seventh. Do you agree with that? Three, six, seven. That's what the negative means is it's in the denominator. One over 10 to the negative seven or 10 million in the denominator. That's the logic of it. But I can also write it this way, 1 over 10 to the 7. Well, if water dissociates 1 times 10 to the negative times, and I write it this way, what the pH is, is the exponent in the denominator. And yes, it's that easy. Well, getting it's a little bit more difficult sometime. We'll see. But that's what it means. 1 out of every 10 million. So now let's say if I increase the hydrogen ion concentration by 10 times, what would the pH be? Well, you just drop off one zero, so one out of every million, that's 10 to the 6. That'd be a pH of 6. You see the logic of that? Okay. Now, so what is the pH of neutral water? The pH of neutral water would be 7. Okay, let's use a calculator model instead of doing it that way. We're going to actually do it functionally with a little bit of math. pH is equal to negative log of the 1 times 10 to the negative 7. If that's equal to it, how do I put that in? Well, I know the hydrogen ion concentration is 1 times 10 to the negative 7. Now, in my calculators, I put it in from the back forward. Some of your other calculators, you may put it in forward back by hitting the log button. It'll come up with a set of parentheses, put in your concentration, close the parentheses, and then hit the plus minus key. But mine does it this way, 1 exponent negative 7 hit the log button, then the plus minus key. And a lot of your calculators are that away. And yes, it is that easy. You can see it's a pH of 7. Now that's easy. I, I mentioned this a moment ago, and I, I hope you see that, that if it, that's a 1, the pH is equal to the power of the exponent in a positive value. That simply. If it isn't a 1, then we have to go into the math calculations instead. Now, for instance, this problem right here, it says, what is the pH of a solution that contains 4.5 times 10 to the minus 3 moles per liter of the hydrogen ion? I'm thinking that you can probably estimate it here, can't you? Can you estimate it as a pH of about 3? Well, that's where we're headed. We're going to see if it really works that way. So if I know that the pH is equal to the negative log of the H plus ion concentration, which we know to be 4.5 times 10 to the minus 3 moles per liter. And I put that into my calculator. I'll just simply put 4.5 exponent negative 3, hit the log button in the plus minus key. That has a pH is equal to 2.3. Now the question is, is that an acid or is that a base? Well, if water has a concentration of H plus ion of 10 to the negative 7, which gives it a pH of 7, this is only 1 out of every 10 to the third. That's more of an acid than a base. So our pH scale is a little bit different going that direction, if you can see that. All right, now try the next one. You saw the estimate. 
you saw the numerical value, and we're close to the estimate, given the fact we were just guessing anyway. I mean, that's a whole lot closer estimate, negative 3 to 2.3 actual, than it is to, if I had come up with 11 over here, I know I might have done something wrong. POH is done exactly the same way. If PH is negative log of the H, does it make sense that POH is equal to the negative log of the OH? So let's try a practice. If that's the case, could you calculate the POH of that solution? Put the video on pause and try it, and then we'll come back in just a second. I think you're going to see that the POH is pretty dang close to 12. All right, by now you should be back. Let's say the POH is equal to the negative log of the OH, which is known to be 9.2 times 10 to the minus 12 moles per liter of hydroxide. I should add that over there as well. If I want to put that in my calculator, I'll start off just by putting in the 9.2 exponent 12, change my plus minus sign, and hit the log button and then hit the plus minus key. That's a pH of 11, or pOH. Now, is that close to what I estimated, a pOH of 12? Yeah. If this is a perfect number of 1, you can estimate it, and the closer it gets to 1, yeah, it's going to shift it a little bit. But it's a good way to do that. Get in the habit of looking at it and saying, is my answer correct? Does it make sense? So, estimate of 12, doing the math on it, we get 11, close to the estimate. So, you remember this, that the, PK, or that the KW is equal to the concentration of the hydrogen ion times the concentration of the hydroxide ion, and numerically they give you a value, what we call the KW value of equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 4, or 14. Does that mean I can take a PKW? Since it's in a scientific notation, I'll bet you I can. Can you guess what the pKW would be? If we follow the same logic we've done with the other ones, as negative log of, isn't the pKW going to equal 14? So, let's try it to double check and make sure that I've done it right. Anytime you have that P in front, and I indicated earlier on it was parts, but now we know it to be negative log of whatever the thing is that follows it. So the P, K, W is equal to the negative log of the K, W, which is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14. You're going to put that in your calculator. 1 exponent negative 14 log button and the plus minus key. There it is. And that's one of those things you just absolutely have to know is that the PKW is equal to 14. Because I'm hoping you can see what's going on here. If I have a pH and the PKW is 14, could I estimate the pOH? And the answer to that is yes. We'll do that in just a second. Okay. Now, let's take a look at a pH chart. That I've just given to you. You need to know that, that the pKW is equal to 14. It sets up an interesting relationship that the pKW is equal to the pH plus the pOH. Just like we divided the kW by the concentration of the ions, now we can just subtract away one of them to get the other value here. So 14 is equal to the summation of the pH plus the pOH. Now graphically, you can see that right here. If neutral water has a concentration of hydroxides, 1 times 10 to the negative 7, and it has a concentration of hydrogen ion, 1 times 10 to the negative 7, that's where we got the 10 to the negative 14 from, is the product of those two numbers. But look at the pH. If the pH is equal to 7 and the pOH is equal to 7, 7 plus 7 is equal to 14. That's where the pKW comes in. So could you tell me what the pOH of a solution would be that has a pH of 2? Well, 14 minus 2 is 12. Now, I need to talk to you about concentration and how this chart works really quick. 
If I increase the concentration of hydrogen ion, 10 to the minus 7 is 1 over 10 million. 10 to the minus 6 is 1 over a million. 1 over 100,000, 1 over 1,000, or 10,000, 1 over 1,000. Can you see that we're getting more concentrated in the hydrogen ion? So the pH ranges from 0 to 14. Water's neutral at 7. Anything with a pH lower than 7 is an acid. You can see that down here. We've indicated it with the red on the left-hand side as acids because litmus paper turns red in the presence of uh, acids and blue on the right because litmus paper turns blue in the presence of a base. But it has both of them in it. No matter what solution, as long as you're doing it in water, you'll have a summation of those two concentrations equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 14, which sets us up for the 14 is equal to the pH plus the pOH. So you could take that chart and estimate. If I had a pOH of 4, can you see that my pH is equal to 10? And the decimals work in there as well. Something that's really important to remember. So you should be able to notice then as the pH goes down, that's this way. The pOH goes up. That's this way. And the same thing is true for the concentration of the ions. When the concentration of the ions increases on this side, the concentration of the hydroxide ions decrease. All right, now let's do a little bit of practice with that then, if we'd be so kind. Calculate the pH of a solution that has 1 times 10 to the minus 3 moles per liter of hydrogen ions. Well, you should have done this, or, or you should have caught this already. Since this is a 1, I can tell the pH is equal to 3. But, just in case you can't, I'm going to say pH is equal to the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration, which is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 3. I'm going to put that in my calculator and say, well... 1 exponent negative 3 log plus minus key, and I verified it for you, that the pH was equal to 3 on that problem. Okay. Well, if that's the pH, what is the pOH of the last problem? Well, let's see. If I know the hydrogen ion concentration, this is where it gets tricky, but I don't like to use that word because it isn't. It's obvious to some people, but it's a little harder for other people to catch. If I know that the pH is equal to 3, does it make sense that the pOH is equal to 11? Okay, because 3 plus 11 equals 14. But here's another way to work that same problem. I want to know what the pOH is given this value. Well, let's calculate the OH concentration instead. So 1 times 10 to the negative 14 is equal to 1 times 10 to the negative third times the concentration of the hydroxide ion. So we're going to divide that to the other side. 1.0 times 10 to the negative third cancels it from that side. If you have to do that in your calculator, and you will with numbers that have decimals in it, 1 exponent f uh, negative 14 divide by 1 exponent negative 3 equals, that means the hydroxide ion concentration is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the minus 11. So now if I took the negative log of that, I'd have the pOH. You see how I did that? One is a subtraction from 14, the other is a division into the kW. So now I'm just going to say, all right, well, 1 times 10 to the negative 11, Hit the log button and the plus minus key so it has a pOH equal to 11. And we did t that two different ways. So, and sometimes you'll need to do them one way and sometimes you'll need to do the other, but you need to know both of them. Now it says, what is the hydroxide ion concentration? Well, I already solved for it right here. 1 times 10 to the negative 11. Based on that and the kW, I divided the kW by the concentration of the hydrogen ions to get the OH minus ion concentration. So now, a little bit more difficult question. What is the pOH of a solution that contains the hydroxide ion of 
point zero 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 four seven one. Now in this case, the only thing that I did different on this one is that I did not use the scientific notation, but you're going to see that it will work exactly the same way. So let's go ahead and try that. Okay, what is the POH of that? Well, let's just take the negative log of that number, 0 0.00004071. And that's going to give us the POH that. So, point one, two, three, four, seven, one. Hit the log of it and plus minus key. So the POH is 4.1. Easy to do, yeah. What is the pH of the previous solution? And is it acidic or is it basic? Well, I know that 14 is equal to the pH plus 4.1. So if I subtract 4.1 from both sides, I hope you can see mathematically. Four point one is going to give you a 9.9. .9. Now the question, is that an acid or a base? Well, based on what I talked to you a second ago, I just told you that... Let me get it up here where you can see it. I just told you that pH is lower than seven are acids, but the pH isn't lower than seven, it's greater than. The pOH is lower than seven, but the pH, which is the one we use as a determining factor, is higher than seven, that is a basic solution. Okay, what is the hydrogen ion concentration? Well, now that one, we're gonna have to go back with the other way we did. We know that one times 10 to the negative 14, which is the KW, is equal to the hydrogen ion concentration, H plus, multiplied by the concentration of the hydroxide, which we already know, 0 0.123471. So now I'll show you in my calculator, I can do the same thing with scientific notation and etc. with the positional notation. So one exponent negative 14 divided by 0 0.123471 gives me a concentration of 1.4 times 10 to the negative 10 moles per liter. So the H plus ion concentration is equal to 1.4 times 10 to the negative 10. Now, for kicks and giggles, I'm going to double check what I got as a pH over here by taking that number and doing the neg negative log of it. 9.85. Well, to rounds to two sig figures, the pH was equal to 9.9, .9, and I got the same answer going at it two different directions. And there are those two different directions that you can go. So make sure that you have caught on to that. Nothing serves better than practice on these.